In this video, I'm going to share three favorite neighborhoods in Somerville, Massachusetts. Stay tuned. Somerville, Massachusetts consists of as many as 17 named neighborhoods. There's no official list, no official boundary lines, no agreement on uh, these named neighborhoods. You know, Cambridge, its neighbor, does have, by the city, 13 official named neighborhoods and five squares. Somerville, you know, there are neighborhoods, there are named neighborhoods, but there's just not general agreement on all of them. I've got a link below to a interactive map of Somerville, and my named neighborhood map of Somerville is largely based on what Google has decided are the boundaries and named neighborhoods of Somerville. Be that as it may, I wanted to share with you today three favorite neighborhoods of mine in 2021 in Somerville, Massachusetts. So number three on my list of top three is the Prospect Hill neighborhood located above Union Square. And it's just such a wonderful neighborhood. You climb up the Prospect Hill neighborhood via Walnut Street and you come down uh, via Vinyl Avenue. And then off these two main uh, thoroughfares that take you up and down the hill above Union Square are uh, a collection of delightful and wonderful uh, side streets that feature a number of wonderful, mostly renovated uh, Victorian homes. There's a mix of some triple deckers and uh, additional condo associations as well, but uh, streets like um, Grandview and Pleasant, Summit, Boston, and Monroe uh, are found in Prospect Hill off Walnut and Vinyl, and th these just are such lovely streets, and it truly is a hill. I mean, as you go up Walnut to Highland Avenue from Union Square, you really are climbing, and uh, you can feel it be you on foot or in a car, that you're climbing the hill. And so there is this nice sense to the neighborhood that you're perched above the square below, and it ends up having this element of a quiet retreat uh, as these streets lay out in the neighborhood. It's just such a wonderful neighborhood. A destination in the neighborhood is Prospect Hill Park, and uh, you get great views here of uh, the city of Boston and the surrounding area. It's famous for its four-story stone tower, Prospect Hill Tower, that flies the Grand Union flag, the predecessor to the American flag. And uh, this was a, an encampment uh, uh, during the time of the American Revolution and again in the Civil War. So there's some history here at uh, Prospect Hill Tower. But again, if you don't live in the neighborhood, it's just a nice place to find your way to go to enjoy the view and the park. And obviously people who live here uh, have this as a resource lucky for them. Um, again, I can't say enough good things about uh, Prospect Hill as a neighborhood. There is found in the neighborhood a uh, quarter acre park uh, on vinyl that's known as the um, Somerville Community uh, Growing Center. And it's a non-for-profit that offers environmental environmental education and programs and um, does host some special events like concerts. So it's a great resource uh, for students. Uh, and it's a little secret uh, in Prospect Hill, the neighborhood. At the top of the neighborhood is Highland Avenue. And just across Highland Avenue, the new Somerville High School came to completion this year or is in the process of coming to completion. I know it was delayed by COVID. And a uh, $257 million campus, they preserved the original 1895 building and then, of course, expanded the campus to be the new multi-million dollar high school that's coming or is coming to completion. So that's uh, an amazing new reality on the edge of uh, Prospect Hill. I've had the great good fortune to work with buyer and seller clients in this neighborhood over the years. And it's always just such a treat to climb Walnut Street and enter into this neighborhood. It's a real um, wonderful neighborhood. And it's 
why it's in my top three. Number two on my list is the Spring Hill neighborhood of Somerville, located between Union Square uh, and Davis Square. And it's named Spring Hill because like Prospect Hill, it is on a hill and is found above um, Somerville Avenue. Um, and it runs along a crest with the main drag being Summer Street, which runs right across the entire neighborhood. And that runs essentially from Willow Street closer to Davis Square to Quincy Street, closer to Union Square. And Summer Street, when you're up on that crest on top of that hill that is Spring Hill, uh, it's just such a nice street to drive down or walk down. And um, especially when you get to sort of the heart of it, when you're feeling like you're at the pinnacle on the peak of the hill where Spring Street intersects uh, with Summer Street. And then you've got the grounds of uh, St. Catherine Parish and the Agassiz School on the other side of the street, uh, the preschool. It's just right when you're right in that section, it's super inviting. It just feels like you're uh, almost outside the city at that point. It's just sort of a lovely crest of the hill. And the neighborhood, um, again, it's a fine um, collection of Greek revival and Victorian architecture with triple deckers and other associations mixed in. and uh, it just it just has such a nice feeling. So you've got side streets running closer to um, Porter and Davis along Banks Street, Burnside, um, Hancock and Cherry. And then on the other side of Cedar, um, you've got streets like Linden and Porter, Craigie, Ibbinson, Belmont Street, Spring Street, Harvard Street and Laurel. And these streets uh, off summer uh, are just delightful. Uh, residential side streets with well-maintained uh, homes, um, eclectic mix of architecture, as I said, mainly uh, Victorian, Greek revival, um, handsome homes, nice neighborhood. Craigie Street is uh, a street uh, in Spring Hill that features two very nice um, playgrounds. There's the Morse Kelly um, playground, at the intersection of Craigie and Summer. And then closer to Somerville Avenue, you've got the uh, Dickerman Playground off Craigie. These are nice, well-maintained city parks that get a lot of use and are a real value add to the neighborhood. Um, this neighborhood also includes the Somerville Museum at the corner of uh, Central and Westwood Street. It's a 1920s uh, federal revival building that was restored and is, of course, now the city's museum. So that's a nice um, element in this neighborhood. And it's nice that Spring Hill is so close to um, Porter Square and the Porter Square Mall and all the shop services and transportation found there, including the T. And again, on the other end of the neighborhood, you've got Union Square, where uh, a T station will emerge in due course on the Green Line is part of the Green Line extension. So, you know, residents of Spring Hill, uh, the neighborhood of Somerville, um, really benefit um, by being between um, Davis Square and Union Square and having easy access to Porter Square. It's sort of the best of all possible worlds. You're in a true residential neighborhood with great architecture, um, well-maintained, and then you have all these uh, squares nearby offering you the best of city life in each direction. So um, that's how and why Spring Hill comes in number two on my list of three favorite neighborhoods of Somerville. And number one on my list, no surprise, uh, is Davis Square. So Davis Square is where uh, Holland, Dover, Day, Elm, Highland, and College Ave meet. It's a uh, true New England cow pasture intersection, if you will. Um, and of course, at the heart of Davis Square is the Red Line T station uh, with service to Cambridge and Boston. And of course, Davis Square is more than this intersection. It moves out in um, to the neighborhood surrounding the heart of the square. And so you can think of Davis Square not just as the core intersection, but as the neighborhood surrounding it. So, you know, I'm talking about... Uh, 
streets that basically run off the main drag, which is Holland and Elm. Uh, so we're talking about side streets like um, Gorham, Jay, Thorndike, Buena Vista, Meacham, uh, Dover, Day. There's all these wonderful side streets that sort of are a collection of residential neighborhood streets around Davis Square that you could say are part and parcel of the Davis Square neighborhood. So that's how I think of it. Having said that, you know, there are wonderful uh, realities that define it. Of course, the T station is a real uh, nice way to get to Cambridge, which is two miles away, or Boston, which is four miles away. But, you know, you've got shop services, restaurants, uh, et cetera, as well. So, for example, on Holland Street uh, is Dave's Fresh Pasta. You know, wow, what a great gourmet grocery with handmade pasta and um, sandwiches and wine and everything you don't need but want to have. Um, it's a great place. Uh, in the heart of Davis Square is uh, Diesel Cafe, an independent cafe that's been around forever and is, uh, you know, a destination in the neighborhood for locals. Uh, it's a great cafe. You've got these unique establishments too, like Sacco's Bull Haven, which is an old school candle pin bowling alley. And the Flatbread Pizza Company is located within it uh, for a uh, wood-fired pizza. So that's just such a great Davis Square destination. Recently, a grocery store opened in the heart of Davis Square. And then, of course, there's usually uh, at most every hour of the day, people making their way to and from. And there's a real sense of vitality, whether you're standing in front of the Somerville Theater or walking down Holland or Elm Street, you know, there's people moving about, there's life. It's a real sense of a city center, a crossroads, a place people come to, pass through, are in. It just is, you know, in the eyes of many, sort of the heart uh, and beating pulse of Somerville. And uh, it really is a great neighborhood. Of course, there's some really fine homes, as you might imagine, uh, that have been renovated and uh, many people, uh, of course, are drawn to uh, living here because of all that it offers. So these are just three of the 17 or more neighborhoods that make up Somerville. And I could share with you reasons to be drawn to or like each and every one of them. My name is Charles Cherney, and I'm happy to share with you more information about these three neighborhoods or any of the neighborhoods of Somerville or neighboring Cambridge. I've been a top residential real estate agent in both communities since 1999, and I welcome the opportunity to connect with you by text, telephone, or email, or in person. So reach out at any time if I can be of service as you give thought to buying the right home or selling for the best price in Somerville or in Cambridge. And uh, if you're just looking to learn more about the market, your home, or these neighborhoods that make up the community. Reach out at any time, and I hope you have found this helpful and interesting, and uh, I'd be interested to know what your favorite neighborhoods of Somerville are. Be in touch. Talk soon. Take care.